We're going to look at how to create a cross tabulation table to summarize categorical variables in SPSS. And remember, categorical is anything that's nominal or ordinal. So things like ethnic group, gender, organizational commitment, the rated skill of work, productivity, satisfaction. These are the ones are scale, so we wouldn't use the cross tabs on scale data. So let's go to analyze descriptives and we're going to choose the fourth option which is cross tabs. Now you'll see I've got a row and a column and also a layer. We're going to do an example with row and column first and then we're going to add a layer variable. So let's just look at um, productivity by gender. So I'm going to take row productivity and put it as my column and gender as put it as my row. It doesn't really matter which way you put it around. Just keep in mind when you have it as a row, that's going to be your row variable and the column will obviously be your column variable. So let's just have a look and see what that comes out as. Click OK. So here in my output file, I've got my cross tabs table here. I can see male and female and then rated productivity across the top. So this was my column variable and this is my row variable. A pretty simple table. Let's make it a little bit more complex. Um, let's add a layer to this table. So it's going to have three dimensions rather than two. So if we go to Analyze, Descriptives, Cross Tabs. Now, when you add a layer, it's going to be the outermost layer. So because I know what's going to happen, I'm going to show you a gender as a layer rather than a row. And I'm going to put a rated skill of work as the row variable instead. And when you see the output, you'll understand why I've done it this way. Um, let's also show you some clustered bar charts. And we'll come back and do some statistics in a bit. Click OK. So let's look at our table first. Remember gender was our layer, so I said it was going to be the outermost variable, so gender here, male and female. And then for each gender, we have rated skill of work by productivity. So my row and column are my, are my innermost variables that I'm comparing. So skill of work, productivity for male, and then the same thing for female. And down here I have the total for both males and females. Now, if I had moved rated skill of work as my layer, I would have four categories going down the outside, unskilled, semi-skilled, fairly skilled, highly skilled, and then I would have inside here male and female. Now, I also have some clustered bar charts down here. Because gender is my layer, I have a bar chart for rated skill of work and productivity for males, and then one separately for females. So let's go back. And I just want to show you quickly what would happen if I had put gender as my row variable. So I'm going to swap these around. I'm not going to create clustered bar charts for this one. I'm just going to click OK. Now you see what I said, uh, rated skill of work being the outermost variable because it's my layer. So I have four categories on the outside and then I have gender and productivity as my inner variables. I find this table a bit more difficult to read. However, if the main purpose of your study is to compare males and females, then this would be the table that you might prefer uh, rather than the previous one. Now let's have a look at some of the stick, uh, descriptive statistic options that we have or statistics op options that we have. I'm going to remove my layer just so my table is not quite so complicated and I'm going to go to cells. Now here I have the option to show expected values. Now these are helpful if you're doing a chi-squared test because it's the it's the number of participants you would expect to observe if there was no association between categories. I'll elaborate that on that more in a chi-squared video, but for now we'll just leave it. Um, you may want to add some percentages, so a row percentage, a column, or a total. I'm going to show you a row percentage, and in another video we're going to look at these percentages more in depth, but for now I just want to show you how to obtain them. So click continue. And we also have statistics, so for example, if I wanted to do a chi-square test, I could. Um, again, look at another video about chi-squared to really know how to do this test and interpret the output. So I'm not going to take it. Click continue and OK. So my output here, I've got percentage within gender, which means that these percentages are calculated with respect to the row total. So 3 out of 31 is 9.7. 6 out of 31 is 19.4% and so on. So if you want to know more about these percentages, please watch um, the video on interpreting percentages from a crosstab.